take two. First time didn't work. <laughs> How do? You're all right. <laughs> this week's video is Paul leaving the Vale and going to Hockley Heath. Yeah. I apologise. I've been learning. <laughs> what for? What for? How to do communication with you lot. I've waffled a little bit. But we're there. Yes, we've gone from the Birmingham and Worcester onto the Stratford and yeah, from the Vale to Hockley Heath. So it's a, a little bit one. It's a little bit probably flat really, isn't it? Well, but you did your best, didn't you? And that's all you can it's do. It's there. I'm trying to keep it going whilst I'm away working. Yeah, but I'm learning. It's only the third one I've actually done, um, I've edited and is it the third one I've done? Or is it the second one I've done? But anyway, it's the third one I've edited. You know what um, said about waffling? Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, sure. Push the button, ring the bell. It's free to you. And this one now that she's found me and then disappears again. And the rest of the world. We'll see you at the end. See Enjoy. You at the end. Morning. How are we? Well, it's Sunday morning. It's eight o'clock in the morning. And everybody's still, within reason, asleep. There's a few little runners running on down the towpath, which we'll see later on today. But we've got approximately a uh, 13, 13 and a half mile ride to do, uh, trip to do today. Um, down past Bourneville, um, then left the, the junction, and then off to Hockley Heath. Uh, beautiful, quiet morning this morning, a little bit misty. I don't know whether you'll be able to see it. So, it's a little bit wintry might be the best word. But we've got a little bit of boat prep to do, i.e. take the cratch down and uh, get the engine going and get unmoored. And I'll catch up with you as we go along the canal off the Worcester and Birmingham onto the Stratford, I think it is. Um, Stratford upon Avon Canal to get to Hockley Heath. So you say, why are we moving at this time in the morning? Well, we've got five and a bit hours worth of travel, and the rain's due at three o'clock, which is six hours' time. So we're at the mat's out. Who doesn't want to get wet? First job succeeded. I've got off the towpath without falling in the water. Talking quietly because obviously everybody's still in bed. We'll get by these boats and then I'll chat. We have Bourneville, we have Kings Norton and a nice little five-ish mile cruise to Hockley Heath. Uh, once we get past the junction, we'll go through a guillotine lock, which was back in the day. Um, the stock market to when two different companies had uh, waters that converged. Um, they did the best to protect their own water. So we'll be going through a guillotine lock. Not that it's a guillotine anymore that moves. It still works, but it doesn't go up and down. Uh, it's frosty this morning. There you go. I'm not lying. It's a little bit chilly. Welcome to 2024. The second version. Change of plan. We're going off down, down the Grand Union. We were going to Great Haywood via the staffs and Worcester for Easter um, but because Tash is down Bournemouth hence why she's not here we're going down the, to the Grand Union um, and then down to Linslade for Easter um, we're going to stop off at Warwick uh, for a couple of days while Tash is at home uh, come underneath the railway bridge come down to Selly Oak We've started off at Vale this morning, which is a beautiful place to stay if you're actually looking at somewhere to 
come into Birmingham and st stop over if you can stop there. Uh, there's a Sainsbury's, we're about two and a half mile down, no we're, a, we're about a mile and a half down from Vale. Um, Bourneville's two and a half miles from uh, Vale. This is the turning point, winding hole. There is spaces down here to stop over. Uh, mixed re reviews are here. Uh, we haven't stayed here. We've stopped off to go to the Sainsbury's. Listening to people uh, can get a little bit silly at night or in the middle of the night. So uh, we've come two and a half mile down the canal, and there's more moorings down it. We have. <laughs> That's nice to know, isn't it? Birmingham's only four miles that way, and London's a hundred miles the other way. <laughs> We're going to get there. We will be seeing London later this year, um, which is quite nice, actually, because like, that's where we're planning on going. So, the big building on the right-hand side, where these just where these moorings are, is the Bourneville Cabris uh, factory. Fantastic little um, visit round the factory. Uh, we did it all oh, back in November, I think it was, when we first got back, got into Birmingham. We stopped off, uh, and yeah, loads of pleasant little information. Plenty of bits that we we didn't know, learn. Hold the factory was built, uh, and. Similarly to Port Sunlight, where Lever Brothers was, um, they built a village, especially for there's football pitches, the playing fields, the cricket pitches, the bowling greens, a whole little village, uh, all called Bourneville. And just here, there is a train line, and the train station's just by the bridge, a little bit further down, and it's all painted purple like the old Cadbury's format but there's some moorings here very pleasant to stay at if you can put up with trains going past but like most canals the railway lines were bought to take over and the railway companies bought the canals and get rid of the competition but that's where the companies all started out on the canals another little diamond on the Worcester and Birmingham We've got uh, about a mile and a half before we turn to King's Junction, uh, King's Norton Junction, and turn off the Worcester and Birmingham. So behind me is the old toll house for the Birmingham and Worcester uh, Canal. So onto Stratford Canal, we just turn off at King's Norton Junction. We have seen the toll house at the end of the Worcester and Birmingham, and it's actually got the toll fees that used to be. Moorings, because this next little bit, the, the bridge, is an old lock. It's a guillotine lock. Guillotine lock was the first is the first lock of the new canal. And although it's left open nowadays, it still works. But this is a guillotine lock. So that's the first lock of the new canal, half past nine in the morning. So we've been going about an hour, an hour and ten. Uh, so like, yeah, the sun's come out to join us on this new bit of canal. It's getting warmer slowly. My hands are the thawing out. Go the buttress for the swing bridge. You can see the central pivot point and the path it came out of and where it went to. So, we're just coming underneath this bridge. I think the pub that was, it's just behind it is the horseshoe. And there's an old arm that goes off to just behind it as you can see. 
So the boat yard's Lions Boat Yard, and it also has Warwickshire Narrowboat Hire Company based at it as well. So if you fancy it, morning, you're right. Turn round and come and visit. They have a chandlery, so make the most of it. Hire a boat, have some holiday. You never know, you might be seeing what we see. Such beautiful scenery. So we're just outside Shirley Green, I think it is, and we've come past the aqueduct. We stopped there um, on the way in, so uh, we've just stepped off the boat and timed it just right for them cars. We've come to a little swing lift bridge. Uh, I've put the keys in already so that we can turn around and not disturb too many people. There is shops just up the way. So we turn the key on, we push the button, the barriers have come down, the lift's lifting. We'll be as quick as we can do because we've got stop cars now. So I'm going to disappear and then come and come back to you. So we're not going through too fast because we've got to stop it when we get the other side. But there you go, we're going through the lift bridge. So great little mooring spot if you can get in. Right by a pub good pub called the drawbridge um, but you can get either side more up and enjoy the evening there we have been we have been allowed when we went when we came through we asked in the pub whether we can park park in the car park um, so yeah we're through the swing bridge the lift bridge and uh, it's only a short distance to walk into town probably about half a mile over the railway line and then drop down there's a Sainsbury's there so there is some shopping opportunities here uh, if you've got a little bit of time to get there it is a bit of a walk like say half a mile three quarters of a mile but it's handy if you need to know let's carry on see what else we get to so bridge 20 if you want a bakery there's one there Wedges Bakery apparently haven't tried it can't recommend it but if you want to try it feel free and let us know that one there the second boat has been moving today we've seen around Birmingham over the winter um, he's just stopped off to go to the bakery I don't know whether he's remembered it's a Sunday it might not be open unless he knows something that we don't hey ho each to their own it's easy to lose time of what day it is what date it is because you're just so idyllically peaceful and right by bridge 20 you get bridge 20a which just so happens to be the m42 oh thanks very much truck just to prove the fact that it's there yeah the m42 so we're almost done for today. We've got about, ooh, probably a mile and a bit half to get to Hockley Heath. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. There's not <laughs> much to see really, but it turns around and just gives you a little indication as to where and what. So at Hockley Heath, there's space on moorings for about three boats there if they're all nicely done. We're at the far end, the third one, and there's a little water course that was just in the way for me head. But right here is the Wharf Tavern. And in Hockley Heath, as we walk up through the Wharf Tavern, not that I've been into the tavern, but it was really busy yesterday when I got here. we had cars in the car park, so it must be fairly busy. Um, if we walk through the car park, You'll love what I've got on the other side. There is a little co-op, which is where I'm going. Uh, but So I thought I'd turn around and tell you. Right in that block, there's a couple of houses, and then there's a... Uh, then there's the, the co-op. But, if you're into your cars, there's a Lotus and a McLaren dealership. So, come and turn around and have a go at Hockley Heath and 
there is just a a co-op so there you go you've had a tour of Hockley Heath we hope you enjoyed that I hope so too because it's it's slowly getting there you're getting there aren't you I'm, I'm learning it's a bit of a new world for you doing all the editing isn't it oh, it's just a waffling as well <laughs> That's so yeah, the odd part. apologies if there's too much waffling. Yeah, I've, I've realised that I need to put more interesting information. And be more succinct. Oh, wow. Succinct. Who? Less waffle. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> anyway, hopefully you are enjoying these videos. He's doing his best to keep it all going whilst I'm away working. It's a learning curve. We do what we can. We do appreciate you, your support. Thank you to all our new followers. Thank you. We shall see you next week. Hi. Big ones next week. So push the button, <laughs> ring the bell. I'm concentrating on where I'm steering the boat. Push the button, ring the bell. It's free to you, the world. It's hash when she's about or not about, depending on which way she wants to look at it. And, uh, and everybody else, please share us and care us. And um, comments always welcome. See, see you next week. Bye.